your uh, real Christmas tree put up, uh, I did. didn't you? Yes, I got my real Christmas tree on Friday. Any, any trouble finding one? No, honestly, it was it was nice. But we also looked earlier and we like pre-tagged our tree so we knew which one we were that getting. That sounds fancy. I just went to Walmart. Before we could pick it up. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was really up. excited to get a real Christmas tree because this is the first year ever. And uh, it was surprisingly a very easy experience. But this morning, it's definitely feeling like winter. If you're heading out the door, it's feeling like the 20s and 30s. We got light winds, but it's just enough to make our wind chills feel like the middle 20s. El Reno 24, Hinton 26, Fort Cobb, and Chickasha both at 27 is what it feels like this morning. You may have some ice on your windshield, so maybe head out a little bit early to check to make sure that that is clear and good to go. But we are clear and calm here in Oklahoma, and that is a far cry from what we were on Saturday when we got all of that rain, but that rain was really good for us. It was drought busting in some spots. I think it definitely put a dent in the drought, but this morning we don't have anything to worry about today. We have a lot of sunshine on the way. As far as rain totals go for the entire month of November, it was one of the very few months in 2022 where we were above average for the month. So one and almost three quarters inches of rain so far in the month of November, a monthly normal is over one and a half. So we're only about a tenth or two tenths above average for the month and we are very close to the average for snow as well, even though uh, we only saw about a uh, less than a half of an inch here in Oklahoma City. So as far as precip goes for the entire year, we are one of two months so far this year that have been above average, everyone else well below average all the other months. And so we're still 10 inches below where we normally are at this point in the year. We do have some rain chances on the way though, nothing that's gonna add a whole lot more, but they're also not till December. So uh, I think we remain dry for the rest of November. There comes our next cold front. We get warm out ahead of it. So today and tomorrow we are well above average 60s and close to that 70 degree mark for the day tomorrow. And then we're cool for a couple days. We warm back up a little bit and then another system moves through and it cools our temperatures back down. So we're really on this temperature roller coaster that we typically have as temperatures kind of end up being down where they should be once we enter winter fully. So the next system that we have, not this this upcoming one, but the one after that, that's the one that's going to be bringing us maybe a little bit more rain. I'll show you that on the nine day, but then even more cooler temps return by the middle of the week next week. So. For today, though, we don't have to worry about cold temps, except for this morning. Definitely grab a jacket. You won't need it by this afternoon. 31, our current temperature, that's our downtown cam on our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. Not a whole lot going on this morning. Our current temperatures in the lower to middle 30s. We got some 20s out in the Panhandle, 23. Now in Guymon, 30 in Stillwater, 33 in Norman, right around or below freezing. And no wind in some spots, but we got a light wind for much of the state, especially West Oklahoma. We're at 10 to 15, 25 miles per hour. Our strongest gust out there in Elk City. And this afternoon, 60 degrees, our high temperature. It's gonna be feeling really nice. We got a lot of sunshine, even warmer out. The Panhandle 61 in Clinton, 59 and Ada McAllister at 58. Our lows tonight, much milder than this morning, 45. Our low temperature in Oklahoma City. Some people staying in the 50s in eastern Oklahoma. And then tomorrow, Tomorrow afternoon, we see a cold front approaching. It will be dropping our temperatures, but for tomorrow, we're going to be warm out of head of it and gusty as well. Winds from the south at around 10 to 25 miles per hour, and then southeast Oklahoma could see a shower or two on uh, tomorrow, so your Tuesday. After that, our temperatures drop by more than 20 degrees for your Wednesday. We're back in the 40s for Wednesday and the first day of December, which is Thursday. Then we're back in the 60s for Friday and Saturday. And then our rain chances ramp up for the weekend before our next cold front bumps us back down into the 40s again. Hold on tight, guys.